everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. So today I do have a fan on, so if you can hear like a buzzing noise or anything in the background, I do apologize, but I'm so hot and I can't open the windows because it's kind of loud. So hopefully you can hear me okay. So today we're gonna to be doing what's gonna happen for you in August. So please choose group number one, two, three or four. I decided to not have any crystals on the cards today just because I didn't really fancy it. So hopefully, resonate for you <laughs> so let's get started on choosing group number one two three or four and let's get started and see what's coming for you in august so starting off with group number one hello group number one thank you so much for clicking on this video and thank you so much for being here so let's see what's you, what you've got going on for you in the summertime so we've got hunger surrender and action we also have codependency inner power, laughter, beauty, be honest with yourself. I picked a lot of cards for this for this group. For a lot of the groups actually I picked a lot of cards. Manifestation, your commitment is being tested. What do you need to release? Communication is key. The uh, nine of wands, the tower, six of wands and the two of wands. Right, we've got a lot of wands energy and we also got the tower. So first of all, what I can see is you guys have got a lot of movement coming for you, basically. You're, you're trying to be rooted, but you're also trying to move. So there's like two kind of different energies. I sense that the universe is trying to get you to ground yourself before you can move forward. So essentially, what do you need to release to get you moving forward? So I do sense in August that you're going to have a, a higher understanding of who you are and how you want to move forward. So possibly in this month, maybe a little bit of a jumbled month, it may be just a bit like this <laughs> it may be a bit like <laughs> if that makes sense it's just i'm really good at explaining stuff today um <laughs> it's just really kind of confusing and blur um so basically i do feel like in august you're really going to surrender to what's actually happening and you're just like do you know what i've over i've over been overthinking for the whole of this year let's stop that right now obviously easier said than done and let's let's move forward in August and try to put some things into action. So, first of all, we have hunger. Then we have surrender. Then we have action. So essentially, this is really, really clear to me that for the hunger card, it's almost like you're yearning for that change. You're yearning for a massive change. Okay, so you guys are literally hungry for change. I definitely feel that happening. I feel like there is gonna be change coming for you. On the full moon in August or the new moon? No, definitely the full moon. There's a full moon in August or around August that is really going to change how you feel and you're going to be like, do you know what? I'm going to go forward with this. And if you don't actually want to take any action or feel the need to take any action, then action will be given for you. So it's almost like they're going to, the universe is going to push you forward and you're going to be taking action. I do definitely feel like you need to surrender first. Before the um, action comes, there's going to be surrender. So while you're kind of having this energy that you need to move forward, you need to move forward, you need to move forward, it's like the energy is going to suddenly kick in and it's going to be like, do you know what? I'm just going to see what happens. And then you're going to have that surrender moment and then it's going to be like, okay, let's take action on this now. I feel like that's really gorgeous. It's very kind of like strategical. So I feel like a lot of you are going to possibly be starting a new job, actually taking action. Some of you are physically taking action. Obviously, this is a general reading, so this is going to resonate for quite a few of you in different ways. So I do feel like some of you are going to take action or action is going to be taken for you. So I do feel like this year you've been craving something, possibly craving a relationship. That's not a bad thing, by the way, just letting you know. Craving a relationship, craving more money craving a change i do feel like either you're going to take action or you're just going to push you to take action or action is going to come towards you it's just some sort of action that's going to be around you in august i see that happening it's kind of like this energy just like whoop 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 it's kind of like um it's speeding up almost like when you turn a car engine on and you stick the key in and you turn it on like a little bit and nothing happens and it only turns on the um, electric and then you turn it on more and it actually turns on the engine. So instead of just having like going full force and putting your key in and go vroom vroom vroom, it's like actually you need to start off putting my key in, then I need to turn it a little bit, then I need to turn on the actual engine and get things moving. So it's like one step at a time essentially. So you guys have got a lot of information here. So first of all we have manifestation and I generally feel like as I said action is going to be taken, manifestation is going to be moving you forward. 
Your commitment is being tested on what do you need to release. So before August or possibly around August. For some of you, I feel like in August. But for some of you, I don't feel like in August. I feel like if you've already gone through this energy where your commitment is being tested, then I feel like in August you're going to have much more action. But for a lot of you, it might be a little bit delayed. I'm not too sure. I feel like actually for a small percentage of you, I feel like it's going to be delayed because there might be things that you haven't released yet. And generally, it's all about divine timing. There's no like rules to how much you need to release before something can happen just generally everyone's life is different but there is something that you guys need to release and to let go and i do sense that communication is going to be really really important for you communicate how you feel communicate how you feel to somebody else and if there's something that's bothering you where you don't feel like you're being honest with yourself then this is going to be the time where you the universe is like now is the time and my legs are kind of like getting all tingly so you unite know, that's like a an omen by the way that's like a clarification because I feel like you need to be more honest with yourself in this situation like how how do you feel about this and what is the action that you need to take what do you need to communicate to a certain person a group or possibly a boss or anything like that what's going to move you forward and I do feel like communication is key in all of this I feel like um so with the we got root related thoughts to do with the home and the root chakra so as I said, I definitely feel like you guys need to feel grounded before you can actually take any action. So don't make a decision on the basis of if your head is filled with loads of thoughts, if you're overthinking, if you're doing it out of fear. Completely let that stuff settle down before you go forward. I know it's very tempting to just be like, go, 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 go. But sometimes you really need to think, is this practical? And is this going to help me in the future? And does this make me happy? Or always come back to your heart and say, does this make me happy? In terms of codependency, this one popped up so i do feel like you are actually releasing this that could be to do with the commitment is being tested and what do you need to release because essentially you may be a certain person who puts other people before you and you're not putting down boundaries i do feel like you're actually putting down boundaries now and you're like do you know what i don't need this crap i don't need this anymore i need to move on with my life i need some new stuff i need the good stuff i need the good stuff and i'm feeling money as well i feel like a lot of you could be quite codependent obviously we're all codependent on money but I feel like your relationship with money may be a little bit kind of smoother and a little bit more fruitful, I feel like, in August. Um, I feel like a lot of you are going to have much more fun. Um, and in terms of your inner power, we've also got inner power and be honest with yourself. So there's a part of you that just is eager to come out. I actually was about to say this. When I was shuffling for you guys for this pick a card, I feel like for a lot of you that authenticity is really coming through, like proper, like it's coming through really big. So there's something that is egging you on to kind of push you forward. And I definitely feel like that's a really, really big thing right now. Um, is to just be authentic with yourself. Because I feel like we're being pushed to be authentic in any way. Basically in our whole lives it's just to like a test of how authentic we can be. Um, so I do feel like you need to stop holding back on being authentic. And the more laughter and the more fun you're going to have, the more things are going to start changing. And you're going to start moving forward and starting to feel more fruitful within your labour. You're going to be feeling more loved you i feel like within yourself you're going to have more self-love for yourself and it's going to be a massive transformation for you and you're really going to be released so i saw a butterfly outside and i thought that was really cute and i just kind of thought of um release and transformation and we also got like a dragonfly in this card and i definitely feel like there's that energy of kind of like looking out to what makes you feel really really good if if that makes sense that makes sense okay so the overall energy we have at the end of the spread we have is the two of wands and we're actually going towards this so we have the um six of wands and we're going towards the two of wands so i definitely feel like a lot of you are going to be going towards something that's a new venture there is prosperity there is authenticity there's a new journey that's coming for you and i feel like this is going to be really really good for you guys i feel like the time is speeding up they tell me time is speeding up in a way that I feel like has been very, very quiet for a long time for you guys. And I'm feeling just a lot of like clear energy, like clearing. So I feel like a lot of you possibly need to um, smudge your aura with incense stick or um, sage. Um, have, like when you have a shower or a bath, when you cleanse yourself, um, be conscious and say like, oh, I release anything that isn't mine for the day and kind of start off a day with that new kind of mindset. Um, there's also another thing I need to say, um, drink a lot of water and possibly take vitamins that you feel is probably good for you. I feel like vitamin C is really good and vitamin D 
there's one that's really good for um, boosting your energy and I feel like that's going to really help obviously this is this is like don't take it if it doesn't correlate with your medical like history or anything like that make sure to kind of check with your GP and things like that before you take any other medication so yeah okay so I definitely feel like you guys are going to have a really good month and remember that communication is key remember communication is extremely important even if it's scary even if you need to let go of toxic relationships or anything like that it's going to be so much more worth it for you so i really hope you enjoyed this reading if you like this reading don't forget to give it a big thumbs up comment down below if you would like to also if you'd like to get a private reading with me all the information is down below and please you can email me i said please please email me or you can message me on instagram or you can follow me on instagram you know do what you want you do what you want okay and if it didn't resonate then just let it fly and if it did then please comment down below so thank you so much don't forget to subscribe and i'll speak to you very soon i think i don't know if i ever repeat myself <laughs> it's that day today <laughs> okay i'll speak to you very soon guys bye hi group number two thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see what you've got going for you in august so let's have a look so we have resistance beauty separation release your ex nine of pentacles temperance page of swords sexuality body movement miracle healing cleanse bring love into the situation hold your vision and we also have garnet commitment heart and sacral chakra so you guys i feel like i'm really kind of getting into your inner power and you're really kind of resisting anything that doesn't serve you anymore i feel that there may be a little bit of resistance also to move forward so this could be to do with i feel like a lot to do with self-confidence and inner power i feel like for a lot of you it is feminine power so obviously if you're a guy um it is that feminine power anyway um because obviously feminine isn't just man and woman it's just everyone has it but i feel like there's a, a a massive kind of importance on feminine power and being your most authentic like feminine self okay because we have sexuality and body movement i do sense that there is kind of like a connection between you and uh, being intimate with somebody it could just be being intimate in general with family with friends and when I say intimate, I don't mean just like in a sexual sense. I mean just in conversation and how much you give to them and how much you receive. So it's almost just kind of like being conscious of that um, that separation between two people. So it's almost like don't get too involved in other people's shit and keep stuff for yourself. Okay, I just saw a really random black line. Was that a bird? I'm so confused. That was so strange. I just saw like a black line that just went... Whew, Oh, that, that was weird. I don't know if it was a bird, because I do see a bird now, and it's a, like a brown bird. I don't know. That was strange. Anyway, so possibly things are moving very quickly for you. Um, we have separation and release your ex. So I do feel like there is some sort of separation that could possibly happen. Obviously, this you'll know if this is supposed to happen, because you can feel it brewing already. I'm not kind of saying this is the future, like you're going to break up with somebody. It's almost like you know what you need to do, and this is going to happen, I feel like. And this is, I feel like you're clearing out clearing out a lot of stuff because we have cleanse you're clearing out a lot of stuff and you're learning to be um kind of single and independent i feel like even if you are in a relationship i feel like you're learning to have your it sounds really bad but have your own life you're learning to kind of do things for yourself and i feel like a lot of you care about a lot of other people and i think it's bringing that love towards yourself and thinking okay so how much do i want to invest in myself i'm investing in a lot of people over time and now it's time to balance myself out with temperance it's time to balance myself out and learn from the past and learn from other people and to know that they're invested in their self and I feel like I'm talking about quite selfish people and I feel like well I think you should have the mindset of like they're being selfish I'm gonna be selfish <clears throat> I'm gonna be selfish so it's almost like communicating to yourself that obviously you don't have to think this but I do feel like it's very important to think actually if people are being really selfish and toxic it's almost like you know what they're being selfish i'm gonna be selfish to myself and i feel like it's that kind of flipping the switch flipping things and thinking actually turning something negative into positive and kind of thinking actually i want i want to do things more for myself i feel like a lot of you are going to be releasing a lot of stuff from your past 
releasing your ex, releasing people from your past that you don't need anymore. It's going to be like a long time coming or it's going to be like, actually, I wasn't ready a few months ago to do that. Now I'm ready. And I feel like a lot of you are, which is amazing. Um, a lot of you, I feel like, are definitely going to go through this healing process where because there's a lot of emotions that have been stuck to do with, I feel like, people you really love, people who have really kind of in your core, they're very deep set in your core. So there's a lot of people that, or there's one person or two people or a group of people who you feel like you need to release. I think now's the time to do that in August. I feel like you're going to have a cleanse. We have that, we have a cleanse here. And you're going to be more committed to yourself and how you feel and just you're really going to be looking after yourself. And with this card, with have got it, it says garnet commitment heart and sacral chakra so with the heart and the sacral chakra that is actually to do with sexuality sexuality is the sacral chakra so it's that sense of your inner power your um, motivation your um how you connect with your creativity and i feel like your creativity will rise so high after releasing a lot of toxicity i feel like generally if you don't have anyone who you want to release i feel like i generally feel like a lot of people might come back from your past and you'll just be like no I don't want to deal with you anymore. I dealt with you a few years ago. I actually thought I wanted you in my life and now I'm like, goodbye. It could be like messages coming through, like as in physical like text messages or emails from other people who you thought was gone and now they're coming back and you're kind of deciding whether you want to release them or not. Obviously you don't have to release them because we have separation and maybe people you, you are in separation with or somebody you're in separation with now and you're going to decide whether you want them in your life and you're going to try and balance out that commitment to, to yourself and to, to that person. And you're going to learn to love more of who you are and to know that you're giving yourself that, almost that, what's the word? I can't remember, I don't know the word. Can you tell me the word, please? Permission, thank you. Ask and you shall receive. Um, <laughs> oh God, that sounded so vain. Uh, anyway, um, yes. <laughs> what was I saying? So yeah, bring love into the situation so it's the permission you're giving yourself permission to love yourself more and to let go of people um who don't serve you anymore and you're going to hold on to this you're going to hold on to that um that mindset and just to know that keep holding on i've got a song keep holding on you know you make it through you make it through wow my thing is not good but that's what i got guys but it's not it's not negative it's not like oh my god i've had so many people in my past who've let me down oh i've got people coming back who i hate it's not that energy it's almost like i know like i feel like this strong woman energy like wonder woman where she like stands like this and it's that kind of like i'm standing in my power no one can kind of get through this because i'm the best i'm a prize okay great <laughs> a lot of woman power in this reading i love it love 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 it and we've also got temperance is great so i do feel like a lot of divine guidance is coming through and for some reason i never noticed that in this nine of pentacles this woman is wearing a glove and she's like holding on to this bird it's like a glove for the bird to hold on to so for some reason i feel like a lot of you are going to be like protecting yourself more from people coming in and for some reason that that was a very random message but i kind of felt that um yeah kind of protecting yourself from messages or messengers who kind of gossip as well getting this energy so thank you so much for watching this reading if you would like to please give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you'd like to down below click that red button or if you'd like also can't speak also if you'd like to comment down below let me know if this resonated if you didn't then just let it fly i also do private readings so if you want a private reading with myself then you can email me or you can message me on instagram also you can follow me on instagram if you would like to so thank you so much for watching i really hope this helped you guys and i hope you guys have a great august and i'll speak to you very soon Hi, hello group number three, thank you so much for clicking on this video, let's see what you've got going for you in August. So let's have a look, we have growth, boundaries, pronite, release and declutter, you're very close to achieving your goal, it's time to release negativity. We also have clarity, letting go, kick up your heels, magic of nature, raising your standards, the lovers, justice, two of cups, oh my god, ace of swords and the seven of swords holy crap wow you guys and we also have attraction you guys have an amazing spread right we have attraction holy crap you guys you guys i've got a lot of good stuff coming for you first of all i just need to address this you guys have a relationship coming for you like if it's not a relationship it's a friendship it's just some or just somebody who you're going to really closely connect with but i definitely feel like for a lot of you if you're looking for a relationship it's coming it is coming for you. You have been growing so much. Guys, this makes me so happy. 
you guys are growing so much and you're setting down boundaries it's almost like you're going uh, that quote it's like you're growing from the ground up so it's almost like you're you started here at the ground and it's almost like when is this going to happen when is it going to happen and then you you've almost started to see growth very very slowly and i can see this kind of energy and it's starting to go slowly slowly up and up and up but you started down here which is really really good you started from being grounded and you're kind of moving up and up and up and up and up and then you're starting to blossom and it's just wow i love it so much and the fact you've got growth is absolutely gorgeous and i love this because it's kind of like she's growing up as i say it's growing from like her nest so she started from feeling kind of like um at home kind of struggling possibly in kind of like a closed area possibly feeling like you just want to stay at home time is taking its time you know it's taking it's taking its time and then almost like you start slowly seeing this growth and it just feels really good you guys so because you've been putting down your boundaries and because you possibly are releasing and decluttering when you need to release and declutter you guys are going to get a relationship okay you're very close to achieving your goal but you do need to release the negativity so there is something that's going to shift or needs to shift where you need to release and declutter that could do with your heart do with your heart chakra so it's to do with trust it's to do with safety it's to do with love it's to do with possibly money as well it could be to do with your relationship with money and feeling safe within that so you guys are going to get massive clarity and you guys are letting go of literally everything you're letting go of so much stuff and i definitely feel like this is going to be like a massive change for you like the end like july i feel like this is almost already started so if you're kind of on a roll then this is the group for you obviously if you're not on a roll you will be on a roll very soon because i feel like august will probably just click that into gear so we have letting go and kick up your heels so i definitely feel like you're going to need to incorporate a bit more fun you need to incorporate some more light-hearted energy okay and we have the magic of nature and raising your standards so the more you kind of let go of um, previous energy the more you release the more you get out in nature um clear your mind the more you're gonna kind of come up and grow upwards and it's going to be absolutely amazing i love the fact we've got raising your standards oh oops, here that goes my lip we're doing well today um we've got raising your standards and we also have boundaries so it's almost like you're really putting your foot down and you're becoming more of an independent kind of like i don't need anyone but we have someone <laughs> we have someone coming for you right this spread okay i'm just like astounded by this spread because we have the lovers we have justice we have the friggin two of cups and we have the friggin ace of swords like this is beautiful like this is actually making me want to tear up <laughs> like my whole like um uh, my whole solar plexus and my heart chakra is like whoop, 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 whoop. so it's like proper like connecting to your inner power it's connecting to your groundedness it's like bitch we are moving we are on the train we are moving we are no longer at the station we have been sitting at the station for years now it is time to move let's freaking go obviously if you're in a relationship then this is going to mean that you'll kind of be kind of coming more into your authenticity you're going to be wanting to express how you really feel on more of an honest term and there's going to be a lot more honest communication there's going to be a lot more love i feel like obviously i'm not saying there wasn't any love but there's more love coming for you this could also be a friendship as i said even a new family member coming could be a child um i'm seeing more of like a long lost family member or someone who you disconnected with a long time ago and they're coming back and i'm feeling this more for family members possibly like a twin flame or an old soulmate but i'm feeling more this is more new energy this is someone completely new and a lot of you could even be a dog it could even be um getting a new dog and they kind of even give you that love also if you don't want a relationship that's kind of what i'm saying it could be like a it could be a love for a um a new job um it could be a love for a new hobby a new passion i feel like your passions are going to be really like heightened um so that means basically you're going to have <clears throat> excuse me you're going to have much of a bigger passion for life so with this two of cups justice and the lovers this pretty <laughs> This is like non-avoidable like this is like this needs to happen and it's going to happen so if you are interested in somebody or you want to be in a relationship here it freaking is like you can't avoid this you literally can't avoid this like literally all these cards all the tarot that i've picked out are all love apart from we have the seven of swords okay so some of you want to avoid this or possibly the person you're connecting with possibly isn't ready yet or they wanted to avoid it out of scarcity like my property not scarcity maybe like being scared they're scared of kind of going forward they're scared oh like oh my relationships didn't really work out in the past i really want to love someone but i'm so scared and, and it's almost like trying to avoid it at all costs 
not talking about how they really feel so that could possibly be that but i do definitely feel like something's going to shift and something's going to happen in august and there's commitment here so we have with the two of cups and the lovers there's basically that um connection coming forward and then we have the um justice which is like the commitment the proper commitment putting his gavel down in the law in the law and it's not in the law i don't know <laughs> in court in court in the law <laughs> what am i saying um in court putting the gavel down saying let's get these two matched up together and we also have the ace of swords also look out for blackbirds uh blackbirds because that blackbird's really kind of staring at me from my window um so really kind of look out for blackbirds i feel like they've got some sort of significance i feel like they have to do with change for some reason i have no idea what i don't <laughs> i don't really know um what they represent i'm really really drawn to this blackbird and robins as well and robins and um, so we also have ace of swords i definitely feel like change is really going to come towards you it's coming in quick if you don't feel like things coming quick or it's coming behind the scenes it is pun not intended that was a sexual pun i do apologize um <laughs> i feel really weird today um so yes i definitely feel like a lot of you are really going to kind of come more into your power and it's just releasing negativity but the only advice for this group is to release negativity and if you think i don't want to release anything else just let it flow naturally if something comes up let it flow if nothing's coming up that's fine just keep going just keep going keep going keep going uh, keep putting your boundaries down if someone's trying to get into your heart trying to get into this area and trying to tell you that you're not good enough you're shit you're crap you're awful let that let that shit go let that shit go just ride on into the sunset take your horse to the old town road and ride till you can't no more <laughs> i'm sorry guys i'm in a really weird mood okay just i feel like you guys are going doing this <laughs> you're kind of like <laughs> guys i'm sorry i'm getting full on into my like memes today so uh so yeah um okay so <laughs> thank you so much for watching guys i love this group so much you guys are gonna have a lot of attraction and a lot of clarity oh my god i'm oh, sorry i forgot to say this right clarity clarity is going to come to you when you release and declutter and also clarity is going to come to you with to do with your heart chakra so the fact that we have both green is just amazing and this is to do with attraction so you're going to have clarity so if you're not sure what's going on right now to do with a certain person or a group or a certain situation you're going to have clarity because you're letting go and you're having more fun and you're releasing and it's amazing it's beautiful and you're going to have a much more better connection with your heart i feel like i feel like you've closed it off and i feel like this is just slowly releasing it. it's coming away from your heart amazing 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 and keep working on yourself um fully work on your um physical outer appearance as well i feel like possibly um exercising would be really good um possibly putting on makeup once in a while if you if you feel like it do things that make you feel pretty or make you feel really good about yourself so possibly wear something you haven't worn for a while possibly put like jewelry on that you haven't worn for a long time um possibly treat yourself to like an, an, a new clothing purchase Something like that where you can feel like you are giving yourself permission to um, make yourself beautiful, even like put a face mask on, maybe run a bath if you don't um, have baths very often. It's that kind of like energy of like treating yourself and giving yourself like a little, a little thing that you can kind of use for yourself. Just something that makes you feel good, even if it's just like, I don't know, playing a new instrument, learning a new language, that sort of thing. It's like keep exploring and exploring who you are and um, be adventurous. I love this. Growth is it's just, this is just beautiful guys this is just beautiful okay i'm gonna go now i hope you really like this reading i love this reading so much um and if you would like to please connect with me on instagram you can also um look down below in the description box i do private readings all my readings are listed down below you can choose what option you want um please feel free to connect with me through email or instagram if you would like a private reading or follow me on instagram also if you'd like to subscribe the red button is down below please like and comment if this resonated if it didn't resonate and just let it fly and i'll speak to you very soon bye guys hi group number four thank you so much for clicking on this video let's see what you've got for you in august let's get started okay so we have release peace let go of control issues, getting to know each other, the fall, the world, seven of cups, oh eight of cups sorry, ten of swords, six of cups, king of swords, financial flow, peace of mind, release, heart protection, prosperity lies ahead, be bold and make the first move. You guys have got a lot of cards, as you can tell. Um, Unikite, live in the present, heart chakra. Zinkite, 
physical body root chakra wow these are really like interesting crystals wow you guys have got a lot of stuff okay let me have a look into this and let's see what we've got so starting off with you guys are releasing okay we've got release twice and we also have the ten of swords so we have release here release here in two different decks we also have the ten of swords and we have the eight of cups so you are moving away from something that does not serve you anymore this could be to do with negative thinking control issues with yourself it could be controlled thinking it could be the need to control it could be um, controlled relationships, controlled friendships, where you felt like you were under the person's thumb, essentially. I can see someone putting their boot on their, on someone's face. So you know when somebody wants to kind of control someone, you see that in films where they like push their boot onto their face um, to try and get like the truth out of them. It's almost like that energy, which is very kind of intense, but I do feel a lot of intensity from this group. So possibly you are quite an intense person, you just feel things very deeply, um, or you want to move quite fast, there's that sort of energy. But I do feel like you guys are going to have a lot of peace. We've got peace and release. So we've got peace of mind twice as well. We have peace twice, we have release twice, um, which is really, really good. And I feel like a lot of you need to get more into your physical body, okay? So exercise, yoga is going to be really, really good for you to help you release. Um, in August you're going to have a lot of prosperity and you're going to be making the first move to do something. So I feel like you're making moves, which basically means I feel like that a lot of you are going to be kind of going forward with something, possibly um, going to a job interview, um, could be starting a new friendship, starting a new relationship, possibly doing something new that you haven't done before. I'm seeing you guys going to the cinema, so I'm not sure if you guys haven't been to the cinema in a long time or it's something you wouldn't normally do or you're going to go see a film that you haven't seen before. It's that energy of like what to expect you don't know what to expect so you're kind of releasing that expectation which is absolutely amazing i love that you're going to have a lot of financial flow in august as well um i feel like because you're releasing expectations or you're possibly getting a new job as well or you're possibly moving up in your job um as well as meeting new people within your within like work i do feel like you're going to have a lot of kind of job interviews meetings that sort of thing where you're going to be kind of suggesting different things to each other um where you're really going to be conversing ideas and new things are going to start happening so we have live in the present heart chakra and then we have physical body root chakra so part of you needs to kind of live more in the moment i feel like a lot of you are kind of worried about what's going to happen in the future to do with love um, and possibly just kind of out of safety i feel like a lot of you possibly could have anxiety um or kind of worry about the future overthinking that sort of thing i tell you she's living the moment and live through your heart and i know that's really hard and i'm kind of getting a bit anxious or like worried kind of thing i'm kind of feeling the need to do this so I feel like a lot of you are kind of not wanting to be seen and I feel like a lot of you guys are kind of releasing that, uh, releasing expectations I feel like um, and possibly you could have gone through quite a big kind of like, like kind of a big change, a change, change or shift in your life to do with love or to do with your heart chakra, something could have really hit you and I feel like you're really kind of starting to live in the present more because of what happened in the past. And you're like, do you know what, I've worried too much to get to this place right now and I feel like I need to live more in the present. So we have physical body root chakra. So a lot of you feel like feel the need to be grounded. I feel like possibly a lot of you are going to be more much more grounded. You're going to have a lot more masculine energy here. So I definitely feel like to do masculine energy, I feel like it's connected to money, finances, um, action. So you're going to do a it's time to do with action and money and finances. So I definitely feel like there's that sort of thing, and there's also something connected to your root chakra. So I feel like you're actually physically going to move your body to a new place. So you're possibly physically going to go to the gym. As I say, possibly going to a job interview. I see you, you and your physical body moving from one place to another. You could even be travelling, that sort of thing. But I do see you releasing a lot of heart, <clears throat> a lot of chains around your heart, they're telling me. Um, so I do feel like you felt the need to protect your heart a lot. And now I do feel like you are releasing that. And you're feeling more safe, I feel like. I feel like you're feeling more safe. So I do feel like you're getting to know somebody new and you're learning to get to know people without having the, the feeling of not feeling like you're trusting them. So it's almost like I'm going to get to know you but I'm not going to judge myself on how I present myself. I love that energy. That's really, really good. So I feel like you guys are going to start doing that. As I say, you're going to stop feeling the need to control yourself and how you approach people. And I'm getting this sense of like um, needing to counsel you as in like, um, obviously I'm not saying this is like I need to do it but I feel the need to kind of um tell you that it's going to be okay and um to let go of expectations and you don't have to be perfect in situations okay they're telling me you don't have to feel, be perfect in social situations i feel like possibly a lot of you can have social anxiety um i feel like just a lot of people want to get to know you for the real you 
and you should not put up such a big wall which is kind of like you know a lot of people's issues only i have that too so it's kind of like you need to make sure to be conscious of how many walls you're putting up and to kind of maybe pull a few down and kind of possibly have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation in my heart <coughs> my chest area is kind of really suffering right now so i do sense this is kind of like a root a di deeply rooted thing that i feel like a lot of you are going to notice and i'm going to go through and i kind of feel really sad for you guys like i feel like i want to just hug you all because i feel like this is very very deep and very rooted so possibly you guys could start going to therapy and um, could go counseling could get um energy healing that sort of thing where i feel like a lot of you need to get that shift and just have that support i feel like talk to people talk to people about how you feel and i feel like a lot of you are going to get that extra support okay so and this is really good we have the fall we have the world this is basically making moves moving forward on a new change possibly moving towards somebody and we also have the world so you could be actually traveling you could be leaving a lot of stuff behind to start a new venture to do with love and relationships and um, this could do love related when i say relation i don't mean just love relationships i mean like um i mean friendships and family that sort of thing you're leaving a lot of toxicity behind and you're releasing that i feel like you could be releasing something very negative to do with your heart and your um, deep emotions as i said something to do with possible social anxiety anxiety mental health issues that sort of thing some sort of something that could have really affected your mind i feel like we're going to be releasing that a lot sorry i got a really itchy ear um so we have prosperity lies ahead and we also have the six of cups so i definitely feel like a lot of deep rooted stuff from your past is going to start coming away and it's going to start shifting i feel like a veil is being lifted and you possibly could be getting uh, messages from um people from the past possibly um on a spiritual level you could be getting spiritual messages from ancestors um to give you support or you could also just be getting messages physical like text text messages instagram messages from people from your past and then you're going to be noticing how much you've grown and possibly you could be reconnected with those people if that's what you want i feel like with this person coming forward or with this certain energy coming forward to kind of um to be released i feel like you're going to be really really strong and you're going to be in your power and you're going to notice these things and you're going to be like let's fucking take action now let's take some good old action let's get in there let's take some good old action sorry if my swearing but needs to come out very expressive when i swear it actually is really good because it means i'm being really like emotional and i just feel like a lot of you are kind of going to be really in that deep that deep place oh my chest is feeling really tight so i definitely feel like a lot of you are going to be feeling really kind of in your deep mind the deepest part of your mind is going to come out and i love that being a scorpio freaking love that the deepest parts mm, get it out get it out you can do it so i love the fact we have prosperity lies ahead and be bold and make the first move so it's almost like be bold and make the first move with yourself because you're going to have that prosperity and for some reason i'm really drawn to this green and it's kind of like to do with the release and the peace of mind so you're going to have a lot of releasing to do with your heart chakra and we also have green here as well so we have green here we have green here and we have green here so a lot of green going on a lot of earthy tones you probably could be connecting with an earth sign as well um and you're also kind of becoming more grounded so i do feel like you guys are going to be bold and make the first move in your life but someone could possibly make the bold move towards you you can make the bold move towards them or you're going to decide to make the bold move towards um possibly finances money that sort of thing and say going towards a possible and say like a, a job interview that sort of thing i feel like so wow amazing group you guys i really hope you enjoyed this reading i really hope it helped if it resonated then please comment down below let me know i love i love reading your comments guys i love you so much um also if it didn't resonate then just let it fly if you'd like a private reading with me all the information is down below i list all my readings you can choose an option and then please um if you would like to connect with me for a private reading then you can email me or you can message me on instagram also you can follow me on instagram if you want to and subscribe to this channel thank you so much for being here i love you guys so so much Sending you lots of love. I love you guys so much and I'll speak to you very soon. Bye.